Hey, what's up, guys? Have you done the Dude, panel come yet? Come on, I'm trying to shoot the video. You had two whole weeks to do it. No, I was at work the whole day. I spent the whole day taping sheets and stamping them. Okay, okay, fine. Just have them done for next week's video. Okay, fine. Will you just let me yeah. shoot this? Oh, okay. Hey, what is up guys? I know that I said I would have my panels done this week, but it's been a busy week. So today I'm just going to be talking about the computer components that I'm using in this small platform factor PC build. To start off, I installed the motherboard using some 3 8 inch brass risers in the cage of the case. Then I began installing the motherboard in the case and plugging in the modular cables into the PSU or the power supply. The next step was to install the CPU. I got a Core i7-8700K and just follow the arrows at the corner of the socket. So I clamped the processor in place and continued to install the cooler. I chose to use the Noctua NHD9L because it would run cooler if I decided to overclock. And I installed the back plate before installing the cooler and I just plugged in the fan. The next step was to install the RAM and the SSD. So I'm using an M2 SSD so that just plugs right into a socket on the motherboard which is pretty convenient because it saves a lot of space. And the last step was to plug in the switch for the power and plug in my mouse, keyboard and Wi-Fi antennas. I plugged in the power and it was ready to turn on. So I got Windows 10 installed and began installing some of my software, mostly Adobe Creative Suite softwares. I got AutoCAD, um, I started to get Rhino. So I'm sure that's all fine and dandy, but Kyle, what's the progress of the panels? The actual BMO PC case itself, well, at least the core of it. So the progress for that is that I finished the metal brick from, that I was talking about from last week and I started to bend some of these sheet panels. And the reason that it's taking so long to get all these panels uh, bent and torn is because one, I have so many bends that I probably should have taken some out. And two, because I kept messing up the measurements and the fitting wasn't 100% right on uh, my actual cage. So I kept running into fitting issues. So these panels are coming together. I just need a little time to prep them to paint and install the last bits of hardware in my computer case to make it fully functional. Anyways, that's all there is for this week's update. If you haven't already, it would mean so much to me if you left a thumbs up in the section down below or just leave a comment about your thoughts on my project. If you're interested in seeing how this project progresses, then I would also recommend subscribing to my YouTube channel because it's free and I'm here every week. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.